The next phase deals with me consulting with Alyssa about inspirational uh, sources. And this can be anything from other websites she's visited, her competitors, um, color palette, anything that stands out to her that maybe she would want to represent in her own branding. Those lend me a hand to to a sort of systematic approach to a style guide for her. Um, when I do a design, if you've seen in my other videos, I typically do like a uh, design system first. So that covers all the tracks of basic repeatable elements or typography, color, uh, buttons, for instance, when it comes to a web design. I do this first simply because if I decide on a style and the client likes it, then I can continue on and keep reusing those elements pretty easily. Software today allows you to create what are commonly referred as symbols, which are basically repeatable elements that you can define that uh, if you do update them, they update in real time. So this video is a quick discovery, I would call it, of what Alyssa is into, uh, what I may offer as general feedback, and then from there we'll you know, assess what she has, do maybe our own research on the side of, say, competitors or anything of that nature, and continue on the actual process to design, which would come after this. So follow along, and in the next part, it will be me and her consulting each other about her upcoming uh, website. Hey everyone! Huh? What'd you say? Sorry. <laughs> okay, we're officially on a Google Hangout right now, and Alyssa's going to talk through some of her sources of inspiration for this part of the phase of the project. So from this point forward, it'll be kind of a discovery again, and we'll talk about what she likes, what she doesn't like. Using that information, I'll start to be able to address the consulting site she's designing. If you stumbled upon this video, or not she's designing, but we're both designing. And if you stumbled upon this video, this is like, I think the third or fourth part. And it's the premise of this whole thing is to show you an in the inside perspective of how we or I basically design a site from a website from start to finish. So it will be everything from meeting with the client. In this case, it's my fiance, Alyssa. Hi. And, uh, <laughs> and we'll be showing kind of just our approach to working with clients. So without further ado, I think we'll kick things off. I'm going to go back to her screen and I think she has, uh, stuff to share. So yeah. Okay, cool. So darwinapps.com. Right, so this is a website that I like the design of it's darwinapps.com. Um, they provide engineering services, so I just, what I like about it is the minimal, I like how minimal it is, but then the elements that are there, it's very bold, as you can see, like, the color is very bold, the type is very bold, but as you can see, there's, like, a lot of white space, mm -hmm. and I really like that in this design, it makes the content really more profound, cool. I think. So if you scroll through, I, um, I think there may be technical things that you don't like about it, like, uh, what is that called? The uh, scroll. scroll. I call it scroll jacking. It's for yeah. some reason a trend, but it's a terrible one. No offense to anyone that uses it, but <laughs> yeah. So maybe not like all of that, but um, see like the forms, how everything's bold and big. I really like how that is laid out. And then also, if you go check out some of their work, I really like how they have everything. Um, laid out, you can click into each project, and then it's like full photographic. Oh, okay. The whole page is photographic with like, just, you know, sim straight to the point, their process, and kind of let the photos speak, speak for itself. Mm -hmm. um, so I really, do, oh, so that brings me to my next uh, website I would like to show you. Um, that just gives you an idea of the general style that I like. Um, there's this one um, person, who I follow, and she has the whole journey. Um, Krista Riccio, she's a nutritionalist out in California. Um, so I really like her website. Uh, if you go through it, you'll see there's like personal, personable photography all throughout it. So there's not, there's nothing stuck about it. All, every photo you see, it's like of her and her clients. Um, so you really just get like to know 
who she is on right. your first visit to the website. And so since my business is a consulting business, I want it to be very clear on the first visit to the website who you're working with. So right, and they don't want to feel like they're, you know, you're just some sort of agency and you're actually a face and a person behind the scenes so exactly yeah. so if you could somehow maybe incorporate these two websites as inspiration the minimalism the bold elements okay. mixed with personalized photography which we could work on together right I mean, um that's basically what i have in mind okay so yeah, f photography, well, I think photo rich is, is going to be a focus for the site. I think already that's kind of our plan together is mm -hmm. similar to this. Like she has, it's branded with her, you know, and then she has specific titles or call outs on each photo, whether it's like just text like that or a pattern. Exactly. Um, her, like, I, I really like how her about page is very uh, comprehensive. Some people's websites have just like a very small about page, but yeah. with her, um, you that's so that part is the content that I will provide for you. It's just like a very like well background about who she is, her whole philosophy. Like I think that's important as a consultant to let my uh, potential clients know my whole view as a branding consultant and strategist. Um, so I'd like to have that be. Um, very clear on my website, mm. my story, my life changing moment, whatever it may be. So, in terms of content, I really like what the whole journey is doing. Here. Yeah, it's in depth for sure. That's that's a long about page. I haven't yeah. seen one that, that long in a while. Right, so I kind of like that. Even she's got like fun stuff, if you can see up here in her nav bar. Oh, cool. She's got like a whole uh, category of just fun stuff. So, she does like her current mood and stuff like that, free resources and success stories that she updates every month. So, like, you know, that's a, not that I want to do that far in advance, but I just kind of like how personable it is so you can really get to know her when mm -hmm. you visit her website. And she she sells programs? Is yep, it? she does. She sells nutritional programs. Okay. She's a nutritionalist. So it's so kind of similar to your long-term goals in terms of, you know, um, consultancy-based programs or something like that? Exactly. That is a long-term goal of mine. At first, when I started out, I, I would like to just get some one-on-one -on -one clients, um, businesses to hire me, but eventually I would like to get to a point where I produce online programs. So I would produce like online courses, which is exactly what she's doing too. If you go to the whole journey, she has a whole programs page where she actually offers online courses. Mm. Um, so that's definitely a long-term goal of mine eventually, um, once I get to that point. Um, so that's definitely somebody I look up to in terms of influence and yeah. That's pretty neat. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. I think that, I mean, that's the general feel I think you have here is minimal, but still bold in the sense exactly. that white space is prevalent, but mm -hmm. the graphics or text or whatever it be stands out a lot. Yeah. Okay. And uh, lucky for me, you, you write content, so I don't have to kind of worry about copywriting or anything like that immediately. I could help with it, of course, but I think you'll... Um, yeah, absolutely. I will be, I'll provide all the copy for you. So I would like for you to basically lead the way in terms of executing the design for, okay. for this website, and then I'll get all of the photography and, and copy to you. And in terms of tweaking, say, your current branding, are you open to that or are you going to? I am actually. So all I've got really in terms of like branding for my consulting business is a logo and- Can you show it, thing. by the way? Just so I'm sorry? We, can you show the current logo? Oh yeah, so let me pull that up. Yeah. I should have had that prepared for today, but here it is right good. here. All right, here we are. So um, can you see this? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's my current logo, as you can see, mm -hmm. Endless Designs, and I've been using that coral color in my branding for about five plus years now. Yeah. So, um, like, I'm, I'm definitely open to rebranding in terms of a whole new logo and color if we decide that may work better for um, the, the rest of the design. That's the logo that I'm working with as of now. Okay. Yeah, for me, it's just mainly the accent color. Like, are you open to mainly changing that if if you want to keep the current logo? I know branding something for yourself is probably the hardest thing ever. I suck at it myself, but it's uh, 
because you, you, I don't know, you're always questioning what, what things should be and, and everything else. So, uh, yeah, color choice, typography, all that stuff is something I can definitely hone in on, but I think it's a matter of... Oh, yeah. Um, actually, if, like, it, for the sake of your, for this project, if it helps to let your creativity run wild, I'm open to letting you change my branding guidelines to better suffice your yeah. design. Uh, like if you know, like you have a type typeface in mind that you just think is gonna look awesome with this design, like totally feel free to share that. Otherwise, if you if you would prefer to you know just focus on designing and developing my website, I will be I can provide you with all of the copy and yeah. typography and everything, color. Right. So, yeah. In in this instance, because we basically related, like we have this inner interchangeable working conditions where we can bounce ideas back and forth really quickly but in a real life client mm -hmm. uh, contractor scenario I wouldn't have so much help so uh, I guess <laughs> yeah I guess this is it's kind of sugar-coated in, in terms of real life but um, I think the gist of it is just showing the steps is what I'm trying to do here so if you guys appreciate that hopefully you do whatever if not, so, <laughs> yeah. So, okay, cool. I think just a general inspiration overview is what we were looking for there. I think from here I can go take these links. You'll probably share those with me and I will uh, continue on and probably start making my own little style guide of sorts for your branding for the sake of the site. So it'd be all the interactive elements and stuff. And then from there, finally move to design based on what you like, what you don't like. So. Okay, yeah. So I'd say for this project, just go ahead and have free reign with your creativity. So don't let any, yeah. This is, so let everyone know that's like kind of a rarity. It very much is. Usually you're you're, you're stuck with Let using their, it. yeah. You're usually stuck with their logo or or something like that that they just can't seem to change, and it's it's a reality, sadly. But cool. So let everything. Run wild, and I look forward to moving forward. Thank you so much for your help. Sure, sure. I'm excited for it because it's another facet for our business. So, awesome. All right. Cool, guys. All right. So we're gonna sign off in the next video. I'll probably actually begin uh, conceptualizing some design elements, and we'll maybe wireframe some things too. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.